Once, a young student approached a Zen master and said, Master, I have come seeking wisdom. Please teach me the secrets of Zen. The Zen master looked at the student and said, Before I can teach you anything, you must first empty your mind. The student was puzzled. He asked, How can I empty my mind? Isn't it always filled with thoughts? The Zen master smiled and replied, Imagine your mind as a cup filled with tea. How can I pour fresh tea into the cup if it is already full? First, you must empty it. The student pondered the master's words and realized the wisdom behind them. He sat quietly and tried to let go of his thoughts, allowing them to pass through his mind like clouds drifting across the sky. Hours turned into days, and the student continued his practice, diligently trying to empty his mind. But no matter how hard he tried, thoughts would always arise, distracting him from his goal. Feeling frustrated, the student returned to the Zen master and said, Master, I have tried my best to empty my mind, but I cannot seem to do it. Thoughts keep appearing no matter what. The Zen master chuckled and replied, Do not be disheartened, young one. Just as the wind rustles the leaves of a tree, thoughts will always come and go. The key is not to attach yourself to them. Let them pass by like the flowing river, without judgment or resistance. The student nodded, understanding the master's guidance. From that moment on, he stopped struggling to empty his mind and instead embraced the ebb and flow of thoughts, observing them without getting entangled. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. The student's mind gradually became calmer, and he discovered moments of clarity and stillness amidst the constant stream of thoughts. Finally, one day, as the student sat in meditation, his mind became as serene as a tranquil lake. In that moment, he realized the truth that the Zen master had been pointing to all along. Emptiness was not the absence of thoughts, but rather the freedom from attachment to them. With a smile on his face, the student returned to the Zen master and bowed in gratitude. He had learned the simplicity and depth of Zen, to be present, to observe without judgment, and to let go of attachment. From that day forward, the student's journey of wisdom and self-discovery continued, guided by the profound teachings of emptiness.